friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's MIT App Inventor tutorial, I will teach you a simple and easy way of reading data from a Google Sheet and showing it in an MIT App Inventor app. First of all, go to Projects, start a new project and name it Read Student Data. I will upload this cute educational background image and make it the background image for screen one and also make a line horizontal center. Now from user interface, drag and drop a list view, make background color none, make the width 90% and I'm going to make the text color yellow. Okay, now add a button from user interface, rename it to load data button, make the background color yellow, font bold, font size 20, and shape is rounded. Very important from connectivity drag and drop a web component. Now go to this link and create a new spreadsheet in Google Sheets or you can use one that you have already created. I'm going to use this one that I used in my previous tutorial. You can see that it has three columns, timestamp, name and age. Now follow me very carefully. Press this share button, go to general access and choose anyone with the link, okay? Now press this button, copy link, and then press the done button to close the dialog. Now open any tech software and paste the link that you had copied earlier. Now let me make it a bit bigger. So what you have to do now is that this edit word that is coming after slash, just remove this entire thing and we are going to change it to export question mark format is equal to CSV. Now, remember this. We change whatever was coming after slash that was starting with edit and we changed it to this. Okay. Now, copy this entire link, the changed link and go to your project and for your web component, in its URL properties, paste it there, okay? Just notice that I did not change the text on the button, so that says load data, okay? Now, let's go to the block section and let's quickly make a global variable and we are going to call it sheet data and we are going to make it an empty list, okay? Now, get the click event for our load data and call the web components get procedure. And when it receives the data, this event will be triggered when web1.gottext, okay? And our data will be inside response content. Now, this data we have to put inside a sheet data. So get the set for a sheet data but we have to convert it into a list from CSV table type, okay? So go to lists and get this block, list from CSV table, okay? Because remember our sheet data, it is in a tabular form, that is we have columns and we have rows, okay? And what will we give it as the text? It will be the response content, okay? Next, have a look here. In our first row, we have the headings of the columns. So we need to remove this row from our data, okay? So go to lists and get the remove list item block. And we are going to give it the sheet data. And from it, we are going to remove the first row. So that is the index. 
one. Okay. But you don't need to do this if your sheet data does not have headings, okay? And it directly starts with the data, okay? So you don't need to remove the first row. Now we are going to make a local variable. And this local variable is for constructing a list that will be used to populate our list view elements, okay? So this is data to be shown. Why are we doing this? And why can't we just directly show the sheet data? Because it is in tabular form. It has rows and columns. It's actually a list of lists. And we have to get the correct information from it by going through the sheet data and getting each column data from it, okay? So this will make more sense when I do it. So I'm going to make this an empty list. And then I'm going to go through this sheet data using a for loop from control. So for each item, okay. And the list is our sheet data, so I can duplicate it from here. And what is this item? So this item is actually one row in our sheet data and it is actually a list too with three pieces of information in it, timestamp, name, and age. I'm going to get the value inside item for index two and three and join them together. So I am going to go to list and get add items to list block. And here my list is data to be shown, the one that I'm constructing to be shown to the user. And what is the item? The item is a join. So from text, get a join. And I want three slots in it. So what is the first slot? The first slot is whatever is inside this item, which is actually a list at index two. Okay, so at index two, we have the name and duplicate it and make this three, okay? And here we are going to just add a separator. So this could be space dash space, okay? Once we are done, we are going to set our list views elements to our constructed data to be shown list, okay? Okay, so we constructed it using the two columns, two and three, and we use the for loop to go through each row in our sheet data, okay? Think about why I'm using a local variable here and why I did not actually make another global variable for data to be shown. I would love to hear your answers in the comments. I hope you liked this class and found this method of reading data from a Google Sheet super easy. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so, so that you don't miss any of the great projects that I've planned for you. Thank you for watching my class. Have a good day and goodbye.